Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to create a quick like inflated balloon kind of object thingy my bobby in Blender. So what's in the thumbnail? We're gonna create that. So first thing I'm gonna do is just enable this so you can see what I'm doing. Then go shift A, mesh, icosphere. Now what you wanna do is go tab, so hit tab. So what you wanna do is go here and then Hold down shift, so hold down shift, click here, hold down shift, and select some of these objects, move it around, shift, boom, something like that, and move it around, boom, 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 okay. Okay, just remember, don't select all of them, so you can see these are the ones that are selected. So then select all of them like I said. Then what you want to do is go ahead and modifiers. Go down here and add subdivision surface modifier and change this to three. So we can go to tab, hit apply, and then go back to tab, hit control B to bevel. Just something like that. And then with the selected, go here and add a vertex group, so go plus. And we can go to sign, okay, go to tab, and let's go to physics, and then we go to cloth, and then if we'll scroll down, find pressure, and then change the pressure to 25, then go down to shape, pin group, make it the group, change this to minus one, and then what you want to do is go here, bring the timeline up, and hit spacebar, and there we go. Now you can see. It's like blown up like a balloon, it's inflated. And you can see this is where our, because we created that like shell thing, it's made it like kind of scrunched up. So I'm just gonna go back here. So then find a spot that you like, something like that. And then right click, shade smooth. And then let's go back to modifiers, add another subdivision surface modifier. Bring this to, just to smooth it out, make it look a bit better. And then what you can even do, is if you if you want to change the shape it's actually pretty easy so all you do is you go, out, you go into tab so hit tab and then with this selected just scale it so s make it smaller make it bigger and then hit tab again and then you can see bring this back and then hit play and now it changes how inflation looks remember it's that easy then if you want to change it back just go tab is scale it back something like that go out of tab play and that's how easy it is to inflate something make it pop make it look bigger it's actually pretty easy so hopefully you enjoyed the video i will upload this to the patreon if you remember you can download it for free but otherwise thanks for supporting the channel and i'll see you in the next video